Hello, my name is Tiffany Saucedo. I'm born and raised in Gallup, New Mexico, and I've lived here for most of my life. Gallup is such a beautiful place, and I'm really proud to be a part of our community. Um, I'm a proud owner of Tiffany's House of Essential Oils, located right downtown, um, right across the street from the Octavia Fillin Library. And so I'm just right on the corner of 2nd Street and Hill Avenue. Today we're going to be talking about mental health and emotions um, and how essential oils help us uh, emotionally as well as physically. Um, they are a great tool to use uh, for, your, to, for support as well as your families. So today I'm going to share about the top three oils that are most popular at my shop. And they are lavender, lemon, and peppermint. And I wanna share what essential oils are. And so they are liquid extracts that we get uh, either distilled or cold pressed from bark, stems, flowers, leaves, um, parts of the plant. And they're 100% plant derived and there's no added um, processing or additional processing. We use essential oils in two ways. One way is aromatically. And so today I have my diffuser going with lemon and you can um, smell it. It just fills the room with a great, um, a great scent and it's really nice for the, for the room. I love to diffuse. Um, you can also uh, put it on a little like ceramic dish and um, put your essential oils on there as well. Another way that we use essential oils is topically and you can apply them topically with a carrier oil, such as fractionated coconut oil. And I like to use fractionated coconut oil because it's easily absorbed into the skin. It helps carry the essential oil uh, into the tissue and into the cells. Um, within 20 minutes, it should have hit every cell in your body. And so it's very, very fast acting. Um, it's really great to apply essential oils. They help um, so many different ways. Um, you can also apply them to the bottoms of your feet as well as your hands. And our hands and our feet have the largest and the most pores, so it's an excellent way to get the essential oils into your body and into your cells um, and the best support for you. Uh, so our first essential oil we're gonna discuss is lemon essential oil. And lemon is sourced from Brazil and Italy. It is, takes approximately seven pounds of lemon pill to produce a 15 ml bottle of essential oil. A fun fact about lemon is that in a single year, lemon tree has the potential to produce 500 to 600 pounds of lemon. And there are over 1,500 published studies about lemon and all its benefits. Um, lemon is the oil of focus, and so it engages the mind and aids concentration. Um, it improves the ability to focus and it's uplifting and positive aroma. It helps open the airways as well as supports a healthy respiratory and digestive system. It's an excellent oil to diffuse in your home, which I have going today, or you can put it on a little ceramic dish like this to diffuse it um, naturally in your home. Um, one um, thing that you might wanna remember with lemon is that it's a photosensitive essential oil. So you do wanna avoid sunlight for up to 12 hours if you're gonna be using lemon essential oil just because it could have an adverse reaction with your, with your skin if you're gonna be using it topically. Aromatically, you shouldn't have a problem, but topically, you do wanna avoid the sun um, while using lemon. Um, but it's an excellent oil to help uh, cleanse and it's so full of antioxidants. It's really great oil to help support you um, emotionally as well as physically. The second oil I'm going to discuss is peppermint essential oil. This oil is sourced from the USA and India, and it is uh, steam distilled from the leaves and the stems of the peppermint plant. A fun fact about peppermint is that it can be used as a natural insect repellent, and you can also use it to soothe any kind of insect uh, bite. And so I love to use peppermint for so many reasons. You can inhale it from the bottle, you can diffuse it, or you can uh, apply it topically. If you're going to apply peppermint topically, I do suggest that you use a carrier oil. And so I prefer fractionated coconut oil just because it is absorbed quickly into the skin. 
So I'll just add some carrier oil with the peppermint and you can apply it to the back of your neck. You can apply it to your temples, um, anywhere that you'd like. It's a great oil to apply topically. And so peppermint is the oil of a buoyant heart and it brings joy and buoyancy to the heart and the soul. It invigorates the body, mind, and spirit. And it reminds us that life can be happy. So it inspires a sense of peace and it boosts positivity. It's also great to uh, promote clear, clear breathing and it also assists us, uh, our respiratory and our digestive system. We like to use, I like to use peppermint in so many ways um, but I do love to diffuse it and I do love to apply it topically. It's a great oil um, to get your hands on and it supports you in so many ways. So I love peppermint essential oil. The final essential oil we're going to discuss today is lavender essential oil. It is sourced from France and Bulgaria and it is from the flower, the flower is steam distilled. It takes approximately three pounds of lavender to produce a 15 ml bottle of lavender essential oil. And a fun fact about lavender is that the plant takes two years to mature from seed. There's over 600 published studies about the benefits about lavender essential oil. It's the oil of communication and calm. So it's gonna aid in verbal expression and it's also gonna help calm the mind. It can ease sadness and provide a, um, a calming effect for your emotions. It's a great essential oil and it smells amazing. You can also use it to assist with aches or tension as well as uh, seasonal support. So it can help with so many different things that you might be dealing with. So today I shared about three of the most popular essential oils that you can get at my shop. You can get lavender, lemon, or peppermint essential oil, and we can use them aromatically or topically. In your little sample packet that you may have picked up from the library, um, you should have gotten a sample of an essential oil. And the way that you wanna use this is to open the cap and you're gonna have this little bottle. You can either put it, apply it to your fingertip like this, or you can um, kind of just drop it into your hand to use it uh, topically. Or you can also just inhale it from the bottle itself. And so these are great samples that you can get at the library. Um, and if you haven't gotten one, you can still get one um, by requesting it through their online platform. So instead of buying your oils online, you can always buy them at my store. I have a wide variety of essential oils available on hand, as well as many other products that you can get, as well as some aroma bracelets and other um, types of items that you can get in the shop. So I really hope you can stop by and check it out. It's really a, a gem that we have here in Gallup and I'm really proud of it. So I hope you can come by and see me. Um, and I'm here for support, so if you have any questions or any concerns about using essential oils, I'm always here and I'm, I'm happy to help you. So I would like to thank you. My name is Tiffany. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and I hope that you um, are using essential oils and if not, come by and see me so you can get some. Mm -hmm.